Okay, right now, looking at uh, about 152. I'd like a little bit warmer, so we're going to turn up the heat a little bit and circulate a little bit more. But it's it's okay. I wanted about 154, but that's I'll just uh, mash a little bit longer. Uh, the temperature in the bottom kettle is now at 172. It's dropping while I shut it down a little bit. It was a little bit too hot. But uh, right now it's, it's staying right around 173. So we'll just keep it right there, maybe maybe up to 175. So obviously your your bottom kettle's got to be hotter to keep up the temperature here. I'm going to try to get to 173, 174, see what happens with this. See if we can bump this uh, bottom temperature up here. Um, this is the uh, this is the uh, mash tun, so we're at one, dropping a little bit, so I'll raise it. Okay, this, I wanted to uh, show the uh, recirculation. You can see going around there, about the right speed. I don't want it too fast. I had to... It's going to take some tweaking, but I, I think I got it just about where I need to. So that's what that looks like. Uh, look over the front. And I got uh, a little bit warm here, so I'm watering down a little bit, but about 158. A little bit higher than I wanted to, so I'm going to bring that down. And it's starting to come down right now. And the bottom, bottom kettle again, I've so I shut the heat way off now, so it's dropping down, uh, get down to uh, probably about 160 and I'll fire it back up because you don't, I don't want to lose too much heat. But it's, uh, it's a little tricky getting it exactly the same, um, but for the most part I've been within two or three degrees of what I wanted to. I was down about, uh, at one time I was down to 152, but that was just for a few minutes. I, I, Hit it back up a little. I want it a little bit lower, right where it says medium, is where I would like it to be, which is about 154, 155. But uh, I think it'll be okay. It shouldn't make too much of a difference to these. This temperature's not going to hold very much longer. It'll start to drop here. And uh, it doesn't drop very soon. I'll just uh, pour some cold water on top of it. That should do it. All right. Well, uh, this is. Uh, doing its thing. I'm, I've, what I've done is I've put my conical in the <clears throat> fermenting chamber there, it's just a freezer. Um, I cooled it down. So my idea is to uh, pump, uh, I'll use a chiller, but I won't use any ice. I want to see if I can uh, pump this wort into this uh, fermenter without using any ice in, in the uh, process. Uh, that could save a lot of time. I'm uh, not sure what the temperature is going to be, but uh, it looks like this is about 35 degrees right now. This the thermometer right there, so it's like 33, but it's, the, the vessel itself probably not that cold. So I'd let it, I'm letting it warm up a little bit, so I think I've got it too cold. That's okay though, if it, it's too cold to have a heater, I can turn the heater on and get this back up to... My fermentation temperature is going to be about 55, 54 degrees Fahrenheit.